Hello, and welcome to episode 9 in a series of walking guides for the highest mountains in Scotland. In today's walk, I'm returning to Glencoe, and I'm going to climb Bukalet of Beg. Bukalet of Beg comprises of two Munros, Stob Du and Stob Corrie Roryach. Bukalet of Beg is one of the easier Munro walks to navigate, with a well-defined solid path to the Bielach, and there's not much choice of where you go once you're on the ridge. The total distance of today's walk is around 8 kilometres with 929 metres of ascent and the estimated walking time is around 3.5 hours. The car parking is free. So starting from the car park, it's an easy walk to begin with and you travel around 600 metres to a fork in the path. At this fork you take the left fork. After a couple of hundred metres it starts to get very steep and there's a large staircase made of large boulders, it's well defined and you follow that all the way up to the Bielach and that takes you to about two kilometres so far. From here it flattens off and it becomes a little bit easier when you're at this point but shortly you'll start to do another steep ascent up until you get to this point which is around about 900 metres. From here, it's an easy walk along the ridge for another 600 metres. And at this point, you get spectacular views of Bukalet and Moor in Bidian Nambian. Once you've climbed the final short ascent here, it's around 200 metres or so, you'll reach the top. And it's quite easy to walk past the top. And you'll soon know that because you'll start descending into Glen Etive. From the summit of Stobdu, you return by the ridge. I also should point out that this last part before the steep ascent is quite narrow and when in winter conditions it can cornice over so you need to keep away from the edge just in case you're not actually walking on the mountain. So you follow the ridge all the way back to the Bielach and then from the Bielach you just continue straight on and again there's a short sharp steep section straight up to the top. It zigzags a little bit. There's a lot of scree in this section. It was actually made easier in the winter conditions. It's easier to walk up the snow than it is to walk up the loose scree. But on the way back down it was a bit slippier and some sections were icy so it was a little bit trickier on the way back down. But you get to the summit. From the summit of Stob Corrie Raniach you then return back down to the Bielach and then you follow the same path that you ascended on the way up and it takes you all the way back to the car park. I'll check the weather report in the West Highlands and this is for a Sunday and it's going to be a little bit breezy. It's going to get better in the afternoon so a late start might be a good idea and it doesn't look like we're going to see very much. Blanket fog, less than 10%, so pretty much no chance of seeing anything. Good morning, we're at the Bukalet of Beg car park. I'm going to climb the two summits of Bukalet of Beg today. It's a free car park. It's probably going to be the wettest walk of the series so far. The Book of Letter Bag is up there. Stob Scorry Screeha is there. And you've got the end of the Anahir Ridge there. I'm looking back to the car park. Book of Letter Bag has one of the most well defined and easiest to follow paths of any of the Monroes. Up ahead we're going to take a left turn, so I'll show that junction. So we're coming up to that fork. The main path is quite obvious and it goes off to the left. There's a very slight, much lighter path you can see there, going straight ahead or marginally to the right. So at this point, I'm going to go left.
just making our way up this giant staircase. Gets you up quick, but it is hard work. And I'm clearly not as fit as my two friends. We've just come up the steepest part of that climb. Still a little bit to go, we're at 600 meters and just entering the snow line. It goes up there for a wee bit to the Bila straight ahead. And then like I say, you go up the ridge. Nice thing about Bukalet of Beg, even in terrible weather, it's quite an easy to follow ridge. So you, you, you really can't get lost. Just gotta be careful you don't fall over the ridge. But it's quite broad. There's only one tricky part. So we're just coming up to the BLAC. At this point, you can go left and up that ridge to the summit up there of the first row. And you can go right and it's a wee bit further back but you go up there and along the ridge to take you to the second one. We'll see which one the guys want to do first. I think normally I do the right hand side one. That way when you're coming back, if you don't feel like it, you can skip the other way. <laughs> to get the far away when done first. So that's how we've reached the b -lac. See Someone's up there in the distance of that one. It's a big cairn. And from here, we just go straight up there. There's a wee bit to the right and then along to the left and it goes back for quite a bit into the cloud. So we're just coming up to the narrowest part of the ridge. In the summertime, it's no problem at all. In the winter, you obviously need to be careful that you don't slip and go for a big slide. You just see where they're carving up. Carves up to the right. And the summit is just over there in the distance. It's not far from here. And the wind's picking up as well, but we're in the shelter of the wind mostly because it's coming 
from head on the way I'm looking just now. Over there's Bedian and over there is Big Lippin Moor. You can faintly make out the ridge. It's a really nice ridge to walk. You get excellent views of the mountains around. Just not when it's in cloud light today. We're just coming back to the Bela and then it's a sharp steep ascent and the top's just up there. This is a smaller, smaller mountain than the other side. Won't take us that long. Summit of Pickleton and Ben. This one's got more of a cairn. So here we are on top of the smaller of the two tops of Pickleton and Ben. If you can hear me, pretty windy, very wet, but uh, pretty well. Unfortunately, there's not very much to see today. I will come back to this one. Do it. to change the battery and the GoPro. The winds calmed down a little bit. It was really quite bad on the top on the summit there. Almost down to the B-Lach. You then take a right turn and follow the path down that nice staircase. So I'll probably get back to the car in about half an hour I guess from here. It's just a shame we're in cloud all day.
we're just coming back to the car park. Been out roughly four hours. It is one of the shorter walks. Unfortunately, we didn't get the weather, but we weren't expecting it to be clear. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks and bye for now.